Yo, 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 it's your boy Streets with another TV back with another one. It's Boosie Badass. Boosie Badass. Boosie Badass. Boosie Badass is back in jail. Whoa. Lil Boosie is back in jail on the new federal indictment stemming from the gun charge back in 2023. You got the United States of America versus Torrance Ivy Hatch. And this was filed July 19th, 2024. And the report it says, rapper Torrance Boosie Hatch Jr. is facing new charges in connection to his arrest in San Diego last year, less than two weeks after a federal judge threw out the previous case against him. The U.S. Attorney Tara McGrath's office filed another indictment against a 41-year-old on Friday for two counts of firearm possession, one involving interstate commerce as a convicted felon, and one for knowingly possessing a firearm while dealing with the abuse of controlled substance. Damn. Man, it seems like they back on Boosie's ass again. All that gloating you be doing, well, you better keep your ass off these internets and out these interviews. Keep your ass low key, man, stay out the way. I don't know why everybody be trying to be seen on this internet shit. They need to stay out the way. On the indictment itself, it says on or about May 6, 2023, within the Southern District of California, defendant Torrance Ivy Hatch, AKA Boosie, AKA Lil Boosie, AKA Boosie Badass, and knowing his status as a convicted felon that is a person having been previously convicted of a crime punishable by imprisonment for a tier exceeding one year did knowingly possess a firearm that traveled in and affected interstate commerce. So with a Glock 19 pistol bearing serial number, so and so, so and so, loaded with a loaded with 10 9 millimeter caliber rounds of ammunition. In violation of the Title 18 United States Code Section 922 G1. Damn. And again, this was filed July 19th, 2024. So they just did this again. They said, Boosie, bring that ass here, boy. No diddy. You know what I'm saying? Man, it seems like the feds got it out for Boosie, boy. They don't want to let you go. That's what I'm saying. Once they get you, man, they, they try to keep you. They got you. You got to stay out of the way. Lil Boosie did respond to all that. And here's what he had to say. Boosie said, I'm on vacation with my family. My lawyer called me and said this federal prosecutor and we has indicted me again on the same charge and added the charge that I was a drug, a drug addict around the firearm, shaking my head. Why did you charge me the first time? When a judge ruled, at this point, you making this a circus. This has to be unconstitutional. This shows how far these devils will go to try and stop a successful black man with a voice. This man has a serious vendetta of hate against me. He wants to be a character. He just doesn't respect the courts. He's racist and has no respect for the courts. If I wasn't Boosie, this would not even be happening to me. This the same man that looked at me and said, wipe me down when I entered the courtroom. This man told him, might wipe me down when he got to court. That's crazy. He's obsessed. I've never seen anything like this in my damn life. 30 of us on vacation and I get this news. He put the hardest battles on his strongest soldiers. God got me. This man doesn't respect the law. Tell the president to pardon this bullshit. Hashtag justice for Boosie. So, tell me what do y'all think about all this going on with Lil Boosie? Did Boosie deserve this? Or did Boosie bring it on himself? Let me know what y'all think. Leave y'all answers in the comment box. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell notification button. Hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Y'all give me on the algorithm, man. Like I said, I always bring y'all news y'all can use. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep doing that for the street. Shit is. But anyway, man, this your boy Streets Want to Know TV. I'm out.